Good morning, Esther's Crown Prayer Walk. Good day, God's blessings. Good day, God's blessings. His mercies are new every day. His compassions don't. His compassion doesn't fail. I was uh, just quickened before we before I signed on and we came live here. It was just ringing through my spirit, and it's not the verses I picked. <laughs> the verses I was led to this morning, Psalms 47. We're still in the Psalms a lot, going through those, but 7 and 8. But just now, as I was getting ready to sign on, um, I heard in my spirit, taste and see that the Lord is good. So we're going to pray into that some and just go ahead and start in prayer and we'll read the Psalms after. God's blessings to each and every one. This is the day the Lord has made, Psalms 118, 24. We will rise stand and be glad in it and rejoice in it and we shall taste and see that he's good his word says that we would um, be able to experience the goodness of god in the land of the living so father we thank you for your word You're just springing up a well this morning of reminders to us god that as we read your word and come into your presence we can actually experience you in tasting of your goodness that we for ourselves not just hearing from others or seeing someone else blessed or experience it years back but now today you said taste and know for yourself that you are good god so we enter into that word father reminded of so many of your provinces that this day you made it regardless of what's happening you're true to keep the sun, the moon, the stars, the clouds, the birds. You're, you're just, you remain who you are. The winds, you know, you remain who you are. You're true to wake us up and, and cause our breath to experience the day, one more day. We thank you, God. Thank you for just what's in today, that we're here together, that we have a way to be able to pray one with another without being right there in front of each other or holding an ear, a phone to our ear. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Father, right now we just unite and agree in prayer over every need that your forgiveness healing would come to us, God. You said that healing is the, the bread of your children. It's your, the children's bread. So, God, we just commit to one another to grab hold of your promises to lay hold on eternal life the blessings all that you've said what you have for us god thank you thank you for making a way where there seemed to be no way thank you for putting a hunger and thirst in us an appetite for your things god for the things you've said for your word for time together for fellowship for looking at as uh, being generous souls able to reach out to the ones around us as we travel through our day. We just lift up the day, all that's in it, from right now till we close our eyes and expect to even encounter you in dreams and visions. We say, have your way in this day. God, may miracles, signs, and wonders come to each one of us. Healings, revivals in the soul, minds being restored, finances being revived, God, any area of lack, or loss or concern god we invite you in today we say have your way miracle maker you're the miracle maker god that's who you are you do great things you show yourself mighty god you shut the mouths of lions yeah oh, god you showed up in the fire jesus you brought armies of heaven in the time of their need. You brought manna from heaven. Oh, we praise your name. Great are you, Lord. You continue to do great things. Show us, Lord. Show us every time we see a rainbow that that's your promise. That's our reminder, the bow in the sky, that you'll never wipe it all out with a flood again. Show us what that means, that everything everything was gone with this flood and here you are with your seal that you won't do that you will ever never do that again 
great is your name. Thank you for your mercies, that great forgiveness, the coming of our King, Lord. And what causes to be New Testament walkers, Lord, where we just own and possess what rightfully belongs to us. Joint heirs and heirs, Lord Jesus, walking with you so close to you that we discern you saying right or you telling us not to go there or saying to us to speak that word to that one. Give us clear ears, clear vision, bold, bold and confident courage, God. That's who you are, Father. Remove all sickness from us and our households, our families, this disease that's tried to plague the earth. We arrest that in your name, Lord God. We arrest disease. We bind and arrest disease, God, devastation, disaster. We speak to the wars and we say cease. God, that you would have your way, Father, with it. Just be a, you call it a moment of silence. You know, when time stood still, God, may we encounter that again for your greatness, for your greatness that time would just stop, Lord God, and that things can be reconciled in that moment, Father, where you just say, okay, I'm going to hold it back now. God, have your way. We love you. We worship you. We thank you for the day. Thank you for one another, the people you've placed in our lives, the ministries, the callings in our lives. We call forth the callings. We speak to the callings, writers and uh, encouragers, God. You said that you would cause us to be encouragers, having a word to speak an ear to heaven every morning god as we wake up give us the tongue of the learned that we would speak what you have to say god we're not going to agree with darkness we will not make an alliance with evil god that does not bring glory to you we will not do that father teach us how to be real with what's happening but also how to praise you. You said we enter into your courts, into those places with you, courtyards of praise. You said praise. Teach us what praise on the lips is, God. Thanksgiving in the heart, God. Being grateful to be here. Being grateful that we have one another, that we can serve each other, hands and feet. Being grateful, God, that our eyes can see and our ears can hear, God. We pray open the deaf ears. Cause the blind eyes to see, God. Thank you for healing even cataracts in the eyes. We just call forth that healing for cataracts, God. You're the miracle maker. You're the way maker. You said it was her faith. It's my faith. It's your faith. It's our faith. God, you said by faith we could speak to the mountain. You said by faith, God, mustard seed. You said if we would believe and not doubt in our heart that whatsoever we pray, we say, we believe for, we unite for, we agree for, it shall be done. Right now we agree with heaven. We say, heaven have your way. As it is in heaven, so be it in this earth, north, south, east, and west. Everything under the sun, in the heavens, everything in between. Old, young, born again, lost, everything God, rich, poor, naked, clothes, home, homeless, everything God, addicted, set free, everything God, the eldest in the earth, to the newborn God, in the womb, to the one crossing over, sanctify your creation out of the abundance and goodness of who you are, not leaving one person out, whether they feel accepted or not, God, it, what matters is you have accepted us, you have seen what you have created, and you have said, behold, it is very good, God, our, our vision is not your vision god we want your vision we want to see with your eyes we want to love with your purpose god we want to be united with the increase of faith that only you can yield as we trust you as we step out and exercise our our plans with you god what you've said in your word father what you've written about us before the foundations of the earth, Lord Jesus. Remind us, God, that what we count as foolish or what we see as not worthy, you confound everything 
to cause us to understand, to bring that one, to bring that nation, to cause that city, that church, that family, that house, that place to rise up and be exactly what you've called it to be, God. You are worthy of all that you've created, whether we know it or not. Open our eyes, Abba. Open our eyes, God. Flood the gates of our hearts. Right there, the opening of where you stand, where we can behold your beauty, where we can gaze upon your, your face, Lord Jesus, the glory. We can be one with you, Holy Spirit. You are welcome into this day. We lift one another's needs up, the purposes, the plans you have. This nation, the nations of the world, God, we just ask of well, you, Father, to hear. Hear our prayers and hear those cries. Hear that faint cry. Hear those hardened hearts, even, God, that don't know how to speak to you. Hear that place where they sit separated. Hear the atmosphere of heaven's noise around them god yeah we just call forth things that aren't we speak to fallow ground to dry bones that's what you said god that's what you said speak to these bones speak to those places call those things that are not as if they be god may a whirlwind of who you are sweep across those places that are absent from knowing you, those void areas, God, of every bit of this earth, the places that won't confess you, the places where they're persecuting those who love you, God, and adore you, Lord Jesus. We pray right now for recompense to the faithful ones, God, that the rewards would be great, even here now that they would see the work of their hands in adoration to who you are, God, for all that they've labored, God, for all that they've toiled and worked so hard for each and every one in the kingdom, each and every one in the mission fields, each and each one, God, that has labored, Lord Jesus, for your glory right now. I pray today that heaven be open unto them, unto each one of us, God, that we would receive something special of you, God, a gift, a special wrapped gift that we each would know, too, that you visited us today, that you touched that pain, that you brought purpose to that heartache, God. Widows and orphans, we speak to you by the grace of God and we say be healed. Oh, God, send emergency workers, ER workers, God, into the highways and byways, hands of faith and feet and voices that, that call forth love and fresh starts and new beginnings, God. Praise you for the work of your hands in us and through us and around this earth. Your word is not returning void, not at all. Your hand is not shortened, God. Heaven is not so far away, Lord Jesus. Dispatch your angels to that one that it just is like if you're real, let me know now. We pray that knowing come to those, God, that are short short-whipped in their walks, God, that lack understanding and discernment, God, those that need to be trained up in the Word, God, you said disciples, Lord, right now we open ourselves, that you would disciple us, and that you would cause us to be able to disciple others, God, that's the greatest joy of your heart, that we can come to the true knowledge of saving grace, of unity, of oneness, and the bond of perfection, that's your Word, God, teach us your word don't let us be strays and wilderness wanderers god and self-independent servers lord jesus we need you today we need you more today than we ever needed you before we say have your way holy spirit we welcome you word of god speak through the earth louder deception has no place darkness bow down to light you will not win. You have no power. You have no dominion. You have no authority. All demons and darkness, Satan, all of it put on notice that God is greater. His word is secure. The blood is enough. The cross, it's been paid for. Behold, your sin has been forgiven. 
Behold, the debt has been paid. Behold, the tomb is empty. Behold, resurrection glory, seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for each one. Abundant love, amazing grace. How sweet the sound, God. Cover the earth with the sound of amazing grace, with the sound of your love, with your passionate pursuit, God. Show us that you're in pursuit of us, Lord God even when we're numb, even when we're in places where we say, where are you? Visit us, Lord God, out of the goodness of who you are, not because of us, but because great is your name, because you're almighty Abba, because you're the author and finisher, perfecter of all that concerns each one of us, God. Your mercies are new every day. Your grace is sufficient, Lord God. We praise you this day. We give you honor. Thank you, Jesus, that you have heard us today. You are worthy of all that we are. Dispatch your angels around this earth. Raise up what is you, Lord God. We give you praise. Thank you for hearing us, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You are worthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hi. Blessings. Blessings, blessings. Okay. Thank you for joining in. God's blessings. My phone is across the room, so I'm kind of leaning in to look at it. Psalms 47. This is what he gave me. He get, He actually gave me, um, right before I... I hit live, go live, I heard it clear, taste and see, or taste and know is another interpretation, because whenever we taste something, we know for ourselves that it's good, so he is like taste and see, or taste and know that he is good, Psalms 47, um, verses 7 and 8, and that's what I heard, um, this morning when I asked the Lord for a word for Esther's crown prayer wall out of Psalms or wherever he'd have it to be, I heard the song start playing by uh, uh, Kim Walker. The king is here, the king is here, hallelujah, the king is here. So I went into the scriptures and I, I found in verse, uh, let's see, Psalms 47, 7 and 8, for God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you for your provision. We pray your supply in all the earth, in our homes, in us, across this creation, God, all that you have. According to your word, so be it to us, our households, to this generation, and to everything in the earth, God. We thank you for daily bread. Thank you for provision. You are worthy, God. We love you, Lord. Rich is your name. Richness comes from you, Father, in the center of all that we are. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah and praise. Amen. God is good. He's faithful. God's blessings. Have a blessed day and thank you. Bye-bye.